Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm glad you're here. So in this tutorial, we will fix two different things. The first one is that, for example, if you send hello or any other question, let's say, you will get weird response. So this is the first thing we need to fix it. Then we need to allow the user only to send one message at a time to avoid spamming. So when the user send a message, let's uh, we need to let him wait to get a response then after getting the response we can allow him to send the other message so let's start doing this so we go to the chat screen and the send message function so we can search for this function and now in here if you check this text controller in here we we were using it for the message we are passing the text here which is okay but here I cleared this text editing controller and then I'm using it again here, which is wrong. Okay, because this text is already null because we already clear it here. Uh, I mean empty, not null, but so it's wrong to use it like that. So basically what we can do is simply define a string, let's say here and let's say message and uh, we can put it uh, equal to the text editing controller text and that's it now in here I can use the message and again in here I can use the message now I will restart the application and I will send hello and let's see what will happen okay let's send hello Okay, so now I'm getting a better response because he said in here, hello world. Uh, remember, this is not exactly chat GPT. This is uh, this one, text DaVinci 0 that you see. So let's ask him about Flutter. He should give us some good answers. So let's say, what is Flutter? Okay, now here it is. Here's a very good answer. We can ask him any real question, for example, let's say, um, what is REST API? And absolutely, we'll get something correct, at least. Perfect, so here it is. Now, the second thing is that I don't want to allow him to send multiple messages. So, for example, if I say, uh, hello, and then say, test and directly send it uh, up it's it's hard to uh, to test it actually because the response is very fast but yeah um, I'll try again up okay so what I'm going to do is that um, I will avoid uh, this Fox node just uh, and I will restart the application and uh, Let's send uh, let's send a hello message like that, and then uh, let's say why, and send it again. See directly, I have these two messages here, and this is wrong. I don't want this case. So what we can do is that uh, I will copy this if statement, and um, if the user is typing. Because if you remember, we defined a boolean called typing. So if this is the case, we can show the scaffold. Of course, this is scaffold. You can make it dynamic just to reduce the code if you want. Uh, but I'll just keep it uh, like that for now. And uh, in here, let's say uh, you can't um, send uh, uh, multiple messages at a time. Okay, now save it. Now I will say hello and uh, directly send something else and see now i got this error message so with this i think our application is perfect and uh, before that i finish i will uh, uncomment this and that's it now i will save it and send this uh, again and that's it our application is being great I hope that you like this tutorial and if you like please leave five stars rating and don't forget to subscribe I'll see you on the next one.